Hello, Dr. Ed Huggett here. Uh, call this part two on our Star Guards talk. Uh, previous video, we talked about uh, uh, optical devices and Star Guards disease, what Star Guards was. Uh, Star Guards being a, a, a cone rod dystrophy, a, a condition of the retina, that light sensitive film in the back of the eye, not working like it, like it used to. In fact, that central vision can be lost and you have trouble seeing faces, uh, being able to read, see colors and details. So Star Guards, uh, occurs in earlier ages, not like age-related macular degeneration, but what can be done other than optical devices? Well, uh, end-stage end Stargardt's, uh, there's a, a, a lot of work being done on uh, stem cell research to help uh, regenerate the lost retina tissue. Uh, video chips, uh, there's video chips being designed and developed where they actually implanted into the eye and they give off a signal and that signal that is transmitted back to the vision part of the brain, which is back here. And that signal transferred back there to be able to help a person see. Pretty rudimentary still. Uh, the uh, the image produced in those kind of uh, video chips is, uh, uh, last I heard it was like a uh, eight by eight or a 64 pixel uh, grid, uh, basically allowing a person to see light and being able to see some gross movement, maybe edges of doors and edges of things. But, um, it's a start and if a person has no vision at all and they suddenly or they've lost all their vision and they suddenly can see things that they haven't seen in years it can be a, a huge improvement for them so anyhow uh, there are uh, governmental trials of things being done uh, in the future we'll talk about where you can access that but there are governmental websites you can access for the latest uh, trials of various eye conditions and uh, we'll, we'll uh, post that for you in the future. Any questions or comments, leave them here. Uh, other things can be done. Something as simple as lighting. Light, lighting is so o easily overlooked. The proper light with um, star guards can make a big difference of what a person can see. I've had patients with star guards with, with just general lighting. They can, they're basically seeing large words like this. And you get the proper lighting. You can double, sometimes triple uh, the ability to see and how much smaller a word can be seen. And by doing that, uh, smaller words, you can see more words at a time, makes comprehension and concentration and uh, much, much better for a person. So their fluency improves when they're reading. So for a child or, or an, a young adult with star guards, magnification and lighting, the two go hand in hand. One without the other, uh, you're gonna have trouble. So you gotta get the proper lighting and the proper magnification and a low vision vision rehab exam will help you do that. Any comments or questions, leave them here. Look forward to hearing from you soon.